What's going on everybody? This is Darezebo here and today I have another awesome tutorial for you guys in After Effects and actually I recently posted um, a quality test on my backup channel it's Zebo, and I'll put a link to the, my backup channel in the description and so if you guys want to see just some short quality test and short test and stuff like that go subscribe to my backup channel just in case anything happens to my main channel and a lot of you guys left me some good feedback on that quality test and you guys wanted a tutorial and so today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I manage my file sizes and um, my render settings for After Effects and I know I've already done a tutorial on this on my render settings before but I found some new settings and they're actually a lot better and um, I found an awesome compressor that's going to let you have a lot sm smaller file sizes and it's still going to keep mostly the same quality and so I have a clip here from FaZe Artsy's editing contest um, this clip is by FaZe Shift and so just drag it onto your timeline and then come over here to your effects and presets and drag on sharpen type in sharpen and then drag it on then I'm just gonna change my sharpen amount to about 13 and that's pretty much all you need to do for that just make sure if you press E on your keyboard that the sharpen is there on 13 and then what we need to do is just go to composition add to render queue and I just leave this on best settings here's the settings here and when I'm uploading to YouTube I usually just change this to 29.97 because YouTube is going to downgrade it anyway and so just go ahead and click OK and output module I already have a custom template here but just go to make a new template and then copy down these settings um, H.264 um, all this make sure audio output is checked go to format options change the video profile to main level 5.1 and the bitrate um, sometimes if I just want really good quality I put it on 240 but most of the time 120 is just it's a good good balance of quality and file size and so just put that on 120 and go ahead and click OK and I'm just gonna go ahead and save this to my videos as tutorial render settings and then I'm just gonna go ahead and render this out and hopefully it doesn't take too long I might speed this up okay so now that our uh, render is finished I'm gonna go ahead and open up a program called Handbrake and I believe it's a free program I'll put a link in the description so just go check it out and this is actually just gonna be a compressor and so if we come over here to our videos and let's see if we can find the tutorial tutorial render settings we can see if we go to properties that this video is 94 megabytes and that's pretty big for just one clip so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this into Handbrake and just ignore that hit OK and then just make a file destination output and I'm just gonna put it back and tutorial render settings compressed and then all you need to do is click start and that's pretty much all there is to it it's gonna take just a second and it'll compress it out and then um, I really like this compressor it keeps pretty much the same exact quality but it, it's amazing at compressing um, I know for a fact I've converted or compressed like a 14 gigabyte file to like 200 megabytes and so now if we look at this tutorial render settings compressed we can see that it's only 8.71 megabytes and the regular one from After Effects was 94 megabytes so now it's ready to upload to YouTube and you can see the quality is very good and if we watch the beginning one before we compressed it, it actually looks like pretty much the exact same and so the compressor is really good um, just go make sure or make sure you put on sharpen that's one of the biggest things and make sure you use the same exact after effects render settings that I used for best quality and I'm gonna go ahead and put this um, compressed video at the end of this tutorial so you guys can watch it and see how the quality actually looks and so um, thank you all for watching and be sure and leave your tutorial suggestions in the description. And this is Darezebo. I'll see you next time, guys.